Hey everyone, welcome to another episode here and we're going to look at how we can use different rates okay, to paint the checkered shirt right here. So we've done the um, Indian man, the, um, the hands and the pants. So right now we're moving on to the shirt and we're using all these you know, different kinds of reds. And again, as I mentioned, uh, we do not want to use the same kind of red in order to paint the shirt. And so using this small brush, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different squares and all these you know, different kinds of reds that make up all these squares. And we want to use like, you know, light reds and dark reds and, you know, purplish reds and bluish reds and all these different kinds of reds. And also um, different kinds of colors for the lines as well. Let's separate all these different checkers, right? So we can have like darker blues, lighter blues and purplish blues and so on and so forth. So using this small little brush, I'm trying to make sure that we have all these, you know, different kinds of uh, dark reds and light reds. And we just need to, you know, uh, have a little bit more patience in order to paint all these um, different kinds of uh, squares that we see. And you can see that the man's body is actually um, causing all these checkers to have different shapes. And so um, we can, you know, make sure that we have all these different reds like for example the, the the checker on the on the left hand side here is actually um, darker red in color darker in in color in terms of red and then we have um, this darker red here as well because these areas are near to the the arm of the man the right arm of the man and so we would need to have all these you know different kinds of reds and different kinds of um, you know colors that make up um, this entire shirt and that will make the shirt look more interesting and more you know um, attractive to look at and so using that small brush that can also help us to have better control with all these very nice kind of uh, uh, shapes and all these you know very nice um, squares that we see so just repeating the same process here just trying to make sure that we have all these um, different kinds of um, shapes right there um, using different shades of red Right, so using those um, more intense reds and using those, you know, um, darker reds and we have, you know, lighter reds and we have all these uh, purplish reds, brownish reds and so on and so forth. And so you can see that each square right there is making up of all these subtly different kinds of tones and different reds and that will give us a lot more, you know, of this kinds of variations in terms of colors and that will really give us you know all these possibilities and all these very nice kind of uh, uh, color change and tonal change and of course using the brush to create all these strokes um, to create all these folds on the shirt itself because we know that on the shirt is not exactly um, very straight because of the bending of the body and so right here we have um, the use of this small little brush to help me to um, paint all these you know blue tones all these blue lines and these blue lines actually help us to you know have all these um, very nice kind of uh, separations between all these different squares and so we have the darker blues we have lighter blues and later on we can also use the color pencil to help us you know to have all these blue highlights using that light blue color pencil but right now we are using this small little brush to use like all these like um, bluish um, bluish grays and all these you know different colors and that will really give us all these very nice kind of uh, colors and separations in between we can have a very good um, combination between the reds and the blues and again you see that you know um, there's different reds and there's different blues there's darker blue and there's lighter blue and there's all these different sh shapes so even though they are squares we can see that they also have slightly different kinds of shapes because of the full <coughs> the folds of the shirt and so we can have you know all these kind of lines and uh, this black line right there as compared to the blue lines actually form this very nice kind of a uh, change between all these lines and of course you know using that small little brush that can give us a lot of control over all these different kinds of lines and all these different kinds of separations and so we would need to have all these you know kind of changes in order to make <clears throat> the uh, shirt look more interesting all right so also using the brush to help us to make this shadow 
So this shadow is caused because of the um, tray on the left hand side and so we can see a um, darker kind of red on the shirt itself. And so we have all these you know like blues, we have all these like dark browns and blacks you know for the ornaments that he's actually wearing on his right wrist. And then we can use the um, reds and then we can use all these you know different colors and different um, blue color pencils to help us with these highlights again using a combination of the brush and the color pencil to help us to have all these you know different blues and you know all these different um blacks and different kind of reds so using that blue color pencil that actually helps us to have all these you know highlights and all these light blues and dark blues that we see and you can see that um we are now having all these you know different reds and different blues and that give us all these very nice variations between all these blues and reds and it is very important for us to vary and to change the kind of colors that we use and so using black paint um, i'm actually painting the darker areas of the folds as you can see right there using just a few strokes of the brush i'm using this dark red to have all these you know paint all these like um, dark red kind of paint and just spreading it across the um, length of the shirt right so this is actually um, causing the folds to be able to be seen because we have the man who is like slouching a little bit and so just before below the chest area and just above the tummy area we have all these folds and these folds are actually giving us a lot of you know very um, interesting kind of uh, strokes and effects when we are actually using that small brush to help us so again, just trying to make sure that we have all these different um, colors and different kind of blues and different kinds of reds. And that will really help us to be able to achieve all these very nice kind of changes and all these um, very nice <coughs> blending between the dark areas and the light areas as well. And so just trying to use my small little brush to help me with, you know, painting all these um, red squares and red kind of uh, areas and again using a small little brush just trying to create again um, these um, shapes so again you see that um, near to the folds near to the uh, middle area there um, the shapes are actually being you know distorted because of the folding of nature of the shirt so right now we are painting the area that is near to the middle part where um, the squares the shapes there are being compressed because they are thinner and that is because it is near to the um, edge of the seam of the shirt and so using my small brush just trying to create you know um, paint all these areas and repeating the same process for all those different parts that we are seeing right now right so using the brush i'm just trying to make sure that we have covered the entire area using this a method that I just mentioned early on so using different kinds of reds stronger reds darker reds less intense reds more intense reds more um, brownish reds and so on so all these kinds of you know changes actually create all these very very nice kind of uh, um, effects and all these you know and it almost reminds me of spider-man because we have all these you know reds um, squares and then we have this blue lines and that is actually forming a very very nice kind of effect with all these changing effects that we are seeing right now that actually applied for his shirt and we're almost done with this area so just using a small brush to paint his hairs and leaving out some areas white so that we have different tones for the hairs so using color pencils and brown paint we are now proceeding to paint the facial features of the man And so right now we see that we have this brown kind of uh, color pencils that is used to um, paint the, to draw the um, facial features. Right, so we have blacks, we have all these, you know, dark browns and we have all these, you know, different kinds of colors and, you know, different kinds of browns. And that will help us to have all these very nice kind of, uh, you know, tones and dark tones and light tones. And that will give us, you know, all these very, very nice kind of uh, transitions and changes 
as we can see. So the way to use this um, color pencil here is actually to create all these marks, okay? And we don't have to fill in everything with the watercolor, uh, with the color pencil because we can use the water from the brush to kind of uh, spread out the pigment as you're seeing right now. And that actually give us a very nice spreading out effect of the dark brown pigment. Right, so all these pigments are being uh, spread out because of the um, use of um, all this, you know, water that spreads out all these different kinds of pigments and all these different kinds of browns. And we can see right now that the the light brown tone is actually, you know, um, the brown tone is actually lighter for the middle part of the face because we have all these, you know, pinks. We have all these. Uh, we have. Um, this lighter brown that is used to reflect the um, lighter part of the face as compared to the neck area. So using the red color pencil and pink color pencil, we can use you know that to actually do the skin tones and of course using the yellows. So we have all these things like dark brown, pink and red and yellow. So all these are nice colors that we can use to paint the skin tone. So again forming the um, patterns and the dark areas for the year and just filling up everything with the right colors so using the small brush to help me with painting the rest of the um, face so the thing is I just try to attack the outer part of the face and moving into the areas like you know the nose the eyes later on and that is my method of doing the face right so just try to um, paint the outside of the face and then after that moving into the eyes so right now we are using this black color pencil to help us with some of the details of the eyes and again using that small brush and brown color pencil to help me with um, trying to depict all these details that reflect his eyes all right so we have this you know dark browns we have this light browns we have all these yellows and blues and so on and so forth so all these colors actually make up the um, light areas and the brown areas for the man's face and just using the black color pencil to help us with the eyebrows and just trying to blend everything together using that dark brown and dark um, and the yellows and the blacks and the um, pinks and reds so all these colors make up this very nice skin tone so using that black color pencil again helping me with the details on the eyes on the right hand side and so you can see right there I'm leaving white some of the areas on the pupil the eyeball so that we have those reflections that are being reflected and that is very important in order to depict the kind of expression on the eyes so again using the black color pencil i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these kinds of uh, mustache and the dark areas on the right hand side and just trying to make sure that we have all these like um darks dark browns and all these you know um areas where we have uh, all these pink tones and light tones and dark tones and all these combinations of different colors and that will give us a very very nice kind of uh, colors and so using the black just trying to do the nose drills don't make it too big because that will be not so nice to look at and then using the pink to kind of like paint the nose the side of the nose using the yellows and just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of uh, colors for the nose and leaving the middle part of the nose white because of the reflection and just using the pencil the color pencil and just trying to blend everything together and finally moving on to the mustache and the mouth area so it's really um amazing to see these facial features um being done with um, and we need to be precise when actually doing all these facial features because a small little mistake on the face of the human will be able to be detected and we need to be very you know accurate in our depiction of all these different facial facial features so just trying to make sure that we have the necks done and using all these lighter tones on the right hand side as opposed to the darker tones for the um, shadow and just trying to touch up with everything just trying to finish up the shirt right here and we are almost done with this painting Hey everyone, it's KY Tom here. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.